Hello everyone and welcome back to Com Crafty. This is Veronica and we are on the sixth day from the series 12 Days of Christmas. And today I am here with you with a showcase for a tall and skinny uh, folio. This is one of my favorite formats and this has been inspired by uh, Rosa Kelly. It's been uh, created with um, papers from Minte Papers again. But before I actually dive in uh, to my showing you the details folio, I would like to remind you that this series has a giveaway. As you might already know, I'm a trained positive psychology and mindfulness coach. And I'm providing rewirement sessions for everyone who wants to make a positive habit change in their life. The goal is to help you find the reasons to be grateful for what you have, increase self-compassion, bring flow and fulfillment in your life so that you can feel happier on a steady base. So the giveaway consists of a course with a duration of one week where I give you the keys to the practice of gratitude, the simplest step we can all take towards feeling more happy. And tests have shown that the happiness can be physically measured four weeks later after just one week of practicing gratitude. You will get a gratitude journal in electronic format. Except for this, you get two online meetings with me. This giveaway is open to any English speaking person in the world and you have to be 18 years old or more to participate. In order to be able to win the giveaway, you have to be subscribed to my channel visibly and to give at least one comment to every video in the series 12 Days of Christmas. You will find all the details about this giveaway in the description box down below us. Thank you so much for watching. This is how it looks. The collection is called Time of Wonders. It's from last year. It's one of my favorite collections, really. But I really have a hard time deciding between any of uh, Minte Paper's collection. And uh, I really love the way the paper is highlighted in this folio. So on the back, I have used some eyelets in order to make this uh, closure. Open the closure and we get into the folio. This is what we see when we open the first cover. I have uh, tried to, this time, you know, I go for contrast. I like contrast very much. But when I put the tags in this folio this time, I thought I shouldn't use contact, contrast at all. On the contrary, I went for the same color scheme as much as I could. So on this green background or greenish, I used tags with the same background uh, because I felt it's it's needed in this case. So um, in this um, um, tag spots, you can use uh, photo mats and you can make them as tall as you want, depending on how much you want to cover from the from the pattern paper but uh, you when you open it one more time this is what you see this is what you have and this is when it's open totally now when we go backwards <laughs> uh, this is what we have we have um, so it opens three times one way and then three times the other way so you see on this white background I've used uh, tags uh, on white background as well so we can hardly distinguish that they are there and in the corners opposite to the tag spots, I have used the sentiments. Then the middle uh, panels are with these lovely poinsettias. Again, here I used two frames that I actually uh, fussy cutted from the tags they were in. And uh, here uh, they are a bit more obvious that they are here in the, yeah, in, on the page. And then again, uh, sentiments in the opposite corners. And then we uh, roll the page one more time and uh, we have again a lovely, lovely view uh, on white background. And this time uh, I have one tuck spot in the left upper corner and another tuck spot made of a Christmas tree taken from the ephemera pack in the bottom right corner, just opposite the left um, tag spot and this is how it looks and you can see that uh, you can actually close the folio and on that photo mat you can uh, certainly put a 9 by 13 photos and again you have sentiments in the opposite corners and now as we go back and open the folio in the other direction I left these pages completely free of tag spots I've only used um, sentiments in on the uh, on the upper uh, side of the pages 
and that's about it because I thought it's really no need anymore. On this page, I accept the sentiments I had used uh, two uh, other uh, stars. You can see circle stars on the green background um, because yeah, I thought they fit well in the in the background. And this is the last page again. Uh, it is the season to be jolly with the tax pot with the nutcracker here. Um, I really hope you like it. This is how it looks when it closes completely. And uh, this is the back of it, you saw. And when you open it uh, to see the full cover, you can see that there is perfect continuity. You can see it on the spine. This is actually this uh, layout. It's my favorite from the whole collection with the um, uh, window from the Christmas gift store. Um, and uh, yes, I don't know, this is, I think, uh, from the whole collection this year, this is one of my favorite um, creations. Uh, one, once it's because of the format, because it's tall and skinny. I don't know why I don't create more albums, um, tall and skinny albums or folios more often. And uh, second time is because of the uh, collection, of course. And third time, I don't know, it's because of the occasion, I think. I want to thank you so much for watching. Don't forget about the giveaway and I will see you after tomorrow for the next day. Bye bye.